Welcome back to more Assassin's Creed. In the last video, we made our way down to Damascus, sneaking and killing and viewpointing. And off screen, like I said, I went around, and you see all these vigilante spots is where all the, as we're basically all the say the citizens work maybe a little bit more to the left or to the right. And I hit all the viewpoints and now it's well not all of them. I'm standing on the last one. So let's hit this last viewpoint, which surprisingly to me is the most unique viewpoint in the entire city. And maybe the biggest. I didn't mean to do it last, it just sort of happened like that, because it was in the center and that's how my I, I, how my uh, trajectory So I did a lot of killing and I actually only died once off screen doing all those viewpoints and save the citizens. There was 12 citizens to save and 9 viewpoints to hit. You saw 3 of said 9 viewpoints and you saw 1 of the citizens. The one that was out of the city walls. Again, I've been avoiding all of the flags. Haven't collected a single one. Yes. On it. Oh, there's a ladder right there. Can you drop. Thank you. The assassin bros in their infancy. I'm pretty sure there's a room similar to this in uh, Origins at the very end. Kind of like set up this thing. Hi, it is good to see you. And in one piece. You as well, friend. I'm sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. Now tell me where to find him. Surely you'll remember how to track an enemy. Of course. Learn where he will be and when. But that sort of work is best left for. I understand. Go and search the city. Determine what he's planning and where he works. Preparation makes the victor. What can you tell me of him? Tamir makes his living as a black market merchant, so the soup district should be your destination. I would suggest you seek out the following places. A small soup northeast of here, the madrasa to our east, and in the gardens north of this bureau. Focus on these places and we should become well known to you. I assume you want me to return to you when this is done. Yes, come back to me. I'll give you Al Mualim's marker and you'll give us Tamir's life. As you wish. Remember, Al Tayyar, if you find yourself in trouble and the city turned against you, return to the Bureau. I can shelter you from the storm. Be warned, though. If your enemies are too close, my door will remain closed until you've lost them. Do you understand? Yes. To bring the enemy inside would compromise the Brotherhood. Very well. Off you go. I stuck. Not the same. I stuck on the door. I'm on here. I like that little assassin symbol right there. Nice touch. Oh right, and it's right there too. That's nice. Um, how did they get the okay for that permit for the building? I don't know. So as you can see here, there are six points on the map. And, uh, you only have to do two. But to do all six, uh, obviously some missions are different than others. And from what I understand, the more intel you gather, the 
higher the chances of your mission going smoothly are. Bench. Yeah, so it is they leave only suffering in their wake. They say it is a crusade. A crusade for what? Ignorance? Violence? Madness? We must resist. We must fight them in any way we can. I stand before you to deliver a warning. Should Richard take Shaha, there will be no stopping him. He will march on Jerusalem next. We must end this before it has a chance to begin. There are closer bench or something. Has always been ours, and it is our duty to defend it until death. Oh. The crusaders must be destroyed. Now cut the English king and his infidel army. They leave horrors in their wake. So, how did you manage to do it? Oh, <laughs> it wasn't easy, my friend. No, not at all. Cursed merchant caught me trying to steal from him. Called for help. I can't imagine the guard were pleased. At least a dozen of them appeared. All well armed and spoiling for a fight. What did you do? I ran over, under, and through the crowd. Knocked over a few stalls for good measure. But they kept coming. Then how did you escape? With a little help from my friends. What do you mean? There's a couple of my brothers who gather around the southeastern exit of the souk. They let me pass and then turned their attention towards the guards. Kept them distracted while I got away. Without their help, I wouldn't be here right now. You're telling me these people... So I've noticed that the guards don't really, they, they're suspicious of you, but they don't really try and fight you. Unless that happens. But they don't really try and attack you unless you, uh, one, bump into them and start climbing. But I'll put it this way, it's a lot more forgiving than that of, uh, like, Assassin's Creed 2. Where literally, if I did this in front of a guard in Assassin's Creed 2, dude, that bitch would be on me faster than you- No, 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 no. Then you could say, Assassin's Creed 2 guards, the Ezio games, they they just want to fight, right? And they will do anything they can to fight you. He came across the Saracen leader and his starving men. Most fortunate for them both, each having something the other wanted. So Tamir gave the man his food. And when the battle was finished, the Saracen leader saw to it that the merchant was repaid a thousand times. As Tamir drove his caravan north, he came across the Saracen leader and his starving men. Most fortunate for them both, each having something the other wanted. Tamir drove a caravan in those days between Damas and Jerusalem. But recent business had been poor. It seemed there were none in Jerusalem who wanted what he had. Fruits and vegetables from nearby farms. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. 
Could be we won the battle because of that man. Right just follow you in prayer. If you could stop getting stuck on people, like please, dude. You seem to know quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell. Nothing. You need to learn how to step. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait. There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop, listen! Not Salah ad -Din. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I've told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. Oh, I didn't, I didn't tell him to do that. So it looks like there's a pickpocket. So there's two pickpockets and two eavesdrops. So only one interrogation, three eavesdrops. Yeah, your investigation is complete. Your assessment is over. You may also continue to do more investigations if you wish, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, despite my better judgment. I don't want to do that. I see. I'm telling you, it's rats. No, it's children. I hear them laughing. Rats or children. Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise. Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. I don't know how long ago that ended, but I just, uh, I had to go to the bathroom. Really madly, dude. What is it? Guy running. I want to get to my destination faster, dude. So let's get over to the second eavesdrop point over here. So yeah, this is pretty much the entire game right here. I know, how exciting. Um, you get to go to the poor district, the okay district, you know, the, I guess what you would call the, uh, middle district, that's what they call it. Um, figure out what we're trying to do. Many things, many things. Too many things. We must resist. We must fight them in any way we can. Fires 
or it has nothing to do with either of these men. Head not dumb. Oh, it's the three I landed in. Another meeting. What is it this time? Another warning? Another execution? No, he has work for us to do. Which means we won't be paid. He's abandoned the ways of the Merchant Guild. Does as he pleases now. He treats us as if we were his servants. And the guard does nothing to stop him. Enough. We must go. If we're late, he'll be angry. And we'll suffer for it. Perhaps one day, someone will have the courage to stand up to him. Perhaps. But until that day arrives, we should do as told. Years within the soup. We already know that. Literally what we were told. Somewhere around here is actually where I, I died. I'm pretty sure there's a group over here. No, not over there. It was pretty close near here, though. That killed me. Because the, the guys were... Yeah, maybe it was over here. Some, it was in this area, roughly. Something needs to be done. It's only a matter of time before someone else discovers it. Tell him, then. It's in his best interest to keep the souk secure. He won't meet with me. Too busy with this new deal of his. And the guards? Tried already. They won't lift a finger unless the order comes from him. Then what will you do? I'll go to Abu Nukut. The merchant king? <laughs> he won't see you. He doesn't have to. I've written him a letter that explains the problem. He can read it and decide for himself. Alright, my dude. Do shit, girl. All right, blame me for your dirty hands. Stole his letter. He's probably. I'm not running that fast that the wind coming from my rope is gonna literally knock the pot out. I'm barely touching you. You look like you need something. You'll find it. Hey, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yes. I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. And it's time with that uh, documentation. I'm not in your way. Right, acquired letters stating to me prepares in March. So we may have just set a man's death in motion. But you know what I'm fine with that. It's all good. And said Oh, that was a close one. We almost just brush shoulders with that guard, and that would have wasted time. A lot of time. I can't tell you how annoying it is to get into conflict, only to just wait 
literally a minute or two for his doors to open. Climb this way, freaking awning above me. This game will get so much easier once we get counter kill. Altair, welcome, welcome. I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tell me your rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. All it took was two eavesdrops. No, three eavesdrops, two pickpockets, and interrogation. Not too bad. Tamir's within Souk, preoccupied with preparing a large shipment of weapons. This is the time to strike. Alright, alright, alright. So we've got the big boy. Never. And our. Bags. Bags. What? Templar flags. Why are there so many flags? Tonic flags. What the hell? Flags. King Richard flags. I guess that's a... Never mind. There's so many. Why are there so many? Far away. Why? Why are you cross the map, dude? Me to be fair, I guess if I had an inkling that an assassin was coming to murder my life, maybe I too would. I'm assuming this is the suit. Lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Would that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses. I have done all I can. It is not enough. 
Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? You dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No! Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me? <laughs> No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Hands a bit sadistic. Move! Where did you learn your craft? Okay, I don't know what that was, so... Okay. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah. But he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. What's up guys? How you doing? much smoother. Oh up. I will end every single person who gets in my way. I'm pretty sure this is the side that doesn't get. What the fuck? 
You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malin. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Blood of a corrupt merchant. It went smoother, a lot smoother than I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting to have to chase that guy for miles, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. I could not assassinate him though, just right off the bat. So that was disheartening. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Okay. You... Can I catch you? Can I talk to you? Can you just walk you past me? Walking into that white, endless void? No escape today. Well, I'm I sure that I'll get some conversation. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk on it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists. At least I think you're scientists. And forced to spend all day in some crazy ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it. But I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked. Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see. I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Mm hmm Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? Yeah, I mean the present. Now, today... Whatever. You probably noticed that English has become the official language of the whole world. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English. So expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? Or what goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. Aren't you tired? Okay, I guess we're done with the conversation now. All right, wait. What's on this? Uh, what's on this computer?
tell me to check out the computer, so I come to the computer and there's nothing. I can't do nothing with it, Lucy. I doesn't mean this one. Sergo email network inbox Lucy. Warren Vidic. Layla. Nothing. Get back to work, please. We have a deadline. P.S. Why do you sign your emails? It says right up top who's coming. September 3rd. From Lucy to Warren. Subject Layla. You said wind up like Layla earlier. As a general reminder, all employees of the Sergo Industries are prohibited from discussing corporate policy proceedings and projects. In light of pending litigation, you are all reminded of subject, subject section 2.15 in your employment contracts. You acknowledge and agree that Absurgo has developed such confidential information by the investment of significant time, effort, and expense, and that such confidential information provides Absurgo with a significant competitive advantage in its business. You acknowledge and agree that a breach of this uh, agreement by you will therefore result in irreparable harm to Absurdo, the extent of which would be difficult to ascertain, and in any event, money damages will be inadequate as a remedy in the event of such a breach. Accordingly, you agree that in the event of a breach of this agreement by you, Absurdo shall be entitled to injuncture or other equitable relief as the in addition to any other remedies which, if made, have available. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your human resource managers. We thank you in advance for your And, uh, great. Leave it at my desk. Worry less about my things and more about animals. Thanks. From Lucy to Warren, subject. Uh, Warren, founder, access key, and open... Or found your access key pen again today out by the parking lot. You really need to start keeping it in your pocket instead of letting it hang on your coat. Try and take better care of your things, Warren. Imagine the security you found it. They have shut us down for at least a day to reprogram all the computer access codes. So that's all she got. That's it? That means she knows the access. Yeah, she does. She ain't gonna come. Is there? I doubt it. But you never know. Yeah. Let's just go to sleep and have the crazy man wake us up again. Creepily staring at our souls. Can't talk. Gotta work. Okay, fine, fine. Fine! We got six days to kill eight targets, woman. Here. Guess it's time to take a shower. That's how that works. Just walk in and out. Time to go to my lumpy ass bed that I never used the blanket. I like how he sleeps on the left side and then wakes up on the right. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. I actually kind of get the whole the wavy thing. It means you're being viewed from a camera. So that's interesting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry, she'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. 
You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry, I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. That was quick. You never talk to her when you like this. Shut your face. So with that, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you have a great day. Remember, only you can be the best you you can possibly be. If you like the video, like, comment for that. Be sure to awesome. subscribe if you haven't done really a meow. And ta-ta. For now.